Today, I'm setting up to extract some honey and I'm gonna show you step by step how I do it and maybe give you some ideas on how you can do it too. Well, let me give you a walkthrough of the station that I have set up and why I'm doing it this way. So first and foremost, protect your floors. You saw us lay down this drop cloth. That's because everything is going to get super sticky. That's just the way it is. Um, what I have here is my own makeshift um, honey warmer. So a lot of commercial guys, have these big rooms that uh, they keep warm just to help them extract. So what I've done is pretty much gotten a grow tent. If you're from Canada, you know why people use grow tents, what they're growing indoors. Uh, but what I'm using it for is to keep honey supers in here. And then down in the corner there, I have a dehumidifier set at a, uh, as low as it could go uh, to keep the moisture content in these uh, honey frames um, at that 17, 18%. So that's what's gonna keep my honey warm. And then from here, I have my uncapping station. Now you can tell I'm not in that big an area. So I do not have room to store a large uh, commercial size uh, honey uh, uncapping tank. So what this is, is a custom made stainless steel tub that has slots laser cut in the bottom. And below that, I just have a regular plastic tote. Um, the way I used to do it was just with two plastic totes, which works fine. But this year I've upgraded to the stainless steel unit, which I know will work amazingly. So I can't wait to try that out. Um, and for extractor, I have this Man Lake 18 frame uh, honey extractor, electric honey extractor. Uh, you can see in here. Um, so this works great. This has kind of convinced me to move over to nine frames in my honey supers. I didn't uh, do that. I actually put 10 frames, but just for logistics and what makes most sense, if I ran nine frames per honey super, I wouldn't have uh, those extra frames lingering around. So I think next year, that's what I'm gonna do just to keep things simple and easy. So enough talking, let's get to it. 
So this is a family ordeal. Here is my beautiful wife uncapping. So Kate, why don't you flip that around? Let's do the other side and show the wonderful people of YouTube what you're doing here. Why don't you tell us what you're doing? Uh, so we're using this knife to uncap um, the, the hard stuff that's kind of locking in the good stuff. So yeah, we're just uncapping it and trying to catch it in the bowl here so that we can start to process the honey. There we go. Look at that goodness. So another tip, I've made the executive decision that uh, I'm gonna give these frames back to the bees to uh, clean out the rest of the cells. Uh, it's not, it's cold in Ontario now. Uh, we're in the beginning of October, but it's not that cold. They're still flying around foraging for food. So uh, we're not gonna extract, we're not gonna be able to get 100% of the honey out of all of these uh, cells. So that's why I'm gonna give uh, the rest for the bees to clean out and then I'll be able to store those over winter in the garage. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Very nice. Couple of spots. Then what all I do is I just slap them in the uh, honey extractor. I try to keep it counterbalanced so heavy with heavy, light with light. Uh, do my best to achieve that um, and then here's some plastic frames that I have a lot of people told me that bees won't uh, create comb on these plastic frames but as you can tell I have not had that uh, issue with these frames these are those acorn frames so kind of happy about that is there advantage over plastic versus wooden frame? Uh, I guess it comes down to personal preference, really. What you can afford, what you want to spend on a frame. Um, Do they last longer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like your wooden ones could get beaten up. They could get chewed out by mice uh, over winter. Whereas the plastic ones, you're not going to have that issue. Uh, I guess they're more durable. I could, I could say one thing from my, that I've learned from experience. If you use plastic foundation over wax foundation, uh, wax foundation, bees can comb through the back. So if you're trying to like introduce a queen in a uh, queen cage, a pushing queen cage, they could get in and around it. Uh, but with plastic foundation, they can't. Uh, so you have a bit better control with that. I'm just trying to get all this goop out. There we go. So that's, I guess, some stuff that we've learned along our journey with my amazing wife in uh, keeping honeybees.
Well, that is it. That is all we did. Here are all the uh, honey cappings, wax cappings to prove it. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I'd like to thank my wonderful wife, Kate, for all her help. And I, show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching us work a bit, getting all sticky. And um, look forward to making some more videos in the future. Anyways, everyone, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye.